Hi guys, quick breakdown um, on this scene right here. Basically, this is what you see when you're watching an iPad Go video. After some enhancements, you do start to see a few other things, such as the black submarine in the water, along with the uh, possibly boat, ship, maybe something else, um, even something smaller, uh, possibly a nuclear drone, if that's a Russian spy ship, possibly, just a hypothesis. Um, but the main point I want to point out here, I can't remember if it's been pointed out before, but this entire section of horizon down here is a nuclear explosion. So if you can see the difference between this this semicircular band of light against this semicircular band of light, it basically says to me that Maybe, because of the depiction of the oil rigs, nuclear devices have been placed underground. <clears throat> Maybe as far down as oil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, that has detonated. And when it's detonated, it's lifted up the Earth's crust. Not all the Earth, but this section of Earth crust, which you can see in this particular slab here. Now you'll notice the lines the rectangular lines, the kind of sheen they're given it, so that's not ocean, or that's not clouds, that's that's supposed to be Earth. So the Earth's been lifted up by this nuclear explosion from here all the way back to here, and on top of that we've got the wave which comes, and out of the wave appears this submarine, and we've got this ship and something else also on the water. In the background I'm sure there's other things depicted because I can see these dark silhouettes and stuff like looking like maybe military vehicles or something but because I can't make it out completely um, I can't say that with any confidence. But the other thing I wanted to point out and I'm going to need to zoom in for this one is in the section of Earth you can also tell it's Earth because it's got like magma in it so, in the section of Earth that has been lifted up by this detonation, I can see there's a man here, or what we call a man, if he didn't have a horn sticking out of his head. So, it appears he's kind of sideways. If you turn your head sideways, you can probably see it a bit better. The easiest way to see it is this whole part here is his forehead. And that leads down to his nose, and he's got his eyes on either side, um, but they don't appear to be open. So, whoever this figure is that has this black hair and this long nose and a horn coming out of his head appears to be emerging from underneath the earth or possibly underneath the sea. Because as we can see here, if this represents the Earth, that's been split, it kind of ends here, and that's where this man's face begins, and we've got C above that. So I don't know if this, this is a depiction, a symbolic depiction of um, the beast coming out of the sea, or the beast coming up out of the Earth, but certainly seems to have some sort of uh, reference to that. And the other thing I want to show you very quickly excuse me, is this scene. Now, when we go back, excuse me, this is how the scene looks normally when you watch the iPad God video. And maybe other people have noticed, but I haven't seen any videos on it. But when I enhanced it, what stood out to me is this extra figure that is attached to the Statue of Liberty. So it looks in the video like the Statue of Liberty is just one, but then when you enhance it even more, you can see that this figure actually has what looks like a hood on, and in this depiction, longish purple hair you can see 
This is the sleeve of their dress and their hand rests on the Statue of Liberty's shoulder. And obviously they're wearing a dress and it just struck me as odd. I don't know who this second person is, um, but they're, you know, coming up behind the Statue of Liberty just as they've kind of lost their torch of liberty, you know, to light the way. And I thought that was interesting. It's also interesting when you define it even more, how all those normal, seemingly just grey swirls around the Statue of Liberty and this other woman, excuse me, they turn into like this blue, purple, tinged light going off around the Statue of Liberty. And um, we've it's been theorised before um, that the swirling above the Statue of Liberty was a was a EMP or a blackout, uh, particularly because the torch falls after that. But it's also backed up by this in depth review of the video where you can just see that these colours all I did was increase the vibrancy of them so those the colours existed I just made them clearer and they appear to be of a electrical storm kind of thing and that could be translated to an EMP um, or a cyber attack blackout some sort of event like that and that's it those are the two scenes i want to point out um let me know what you think you guys have a good morning good afternoon and god bless